drawing, sculpture, decorating, arts and crafts. These are all the peaks of the culture of the Great Steppe. Textile and felt processing, hunting and carpentry, as well as jewelry. All of these things are the treasures of our national identity. You can watch this program about the precious heritage of our nation which has come down for many centuries in the program Kaz Art on Kazakh TV. Biz осы кішкентайымыздан бала кезден бала кезден пластилиннен және сөз болшыппен ауыл боласыңыз ғой. Бұл сезгілеп кішкене ойын. As we grew up in the village, in our childhood we played with plasticine clay. Typically we made toys from these probably childhood dreams brought to me by a sculptor. I came with that dream to Shymkent, where I was enrolled in an art college named after Kastayev. And then I studied in the Art Academy of Zhurgenov, majoring in sculpture in Almaty. Currently I work as a sculptor and I work with ceramics as well. Baghdad is one of the youngest sculptors of Kazakhstan's art scene who has a signature in his art form. His compositions have a deep meaning and are very attractive. Бүгінгі таңда қазақ мүсін өнері өзіндік жас буын мүсін осы аталған аға буын мүсіншілердің шығармашылықтарын өзінің өзінің алдына. Nowadays Kazakh sculptors take example from experienced artists and now there are a lot of young sculptors. Among the young sculptors we can talk about Renat Shinibayev, Talgat Jumagulov, and Baghdad Sarsenbiev. The uniqueness of these sculptors is their compositions, and they are different from one another. As in painting art in general, in Western Europe, the advanced guard trends have been seen, and now they make a step towards this new level in their art. Subsequently, Kazakh painting art started to develop in the second part of the 19th century. And the young art among them was sculpture. The Kazakh sculpture art was developed in 1930. The sculpture in the Kazakh land took place in the time of the Turk art development in history. We can see these sculptures in Turgay, Ulutau, Saryarka, Altai, Tarbagatai, Karatau, and the Altai meadows. жалпы қазақ мүсін өнерін біз екі кезеңге бөліп қарастырамыз. Ол кеңестік кезең және одан кейін тәуелсіздік кезеңі болып, екі кезеңге бөліп қарастыруымызға болады. Себебі қазақ мүсін өнерінің бастауы тұңғыш мүсіншіміз Қахымжан Наурызбаевтан өзінің Typically we can say that Kazakh sculpture art was divided into two periods. In the art of Soviet times and independent times. The first Kazakh sculptor is Hakimjan Naurozbayev, who put effort and started this art form. Then other sculptors such as Dosmagambetov and Yerkin Mirgenov and Sirkibayev are patronized with their compositions giving to the next generation. The purpose of the sculpture in that time was to sculpt a famous and honored person. So the monumental sculpture for the first time in Almaty was made by Oskar Sarijan, the monument of Amangeldi. Then Abai's monument, which was made by Hakimjan Naurozbayev, and Mukhtar Oasis' monument by Sirgibayev. These well-known Kazakh people now all have their own place in the city. And the second period of sculpture is in the independent times. All sculptures make monument and independent themes as it is a time of independence. We can also notice that when our country received independence, the sculptors in turn started to take those themes of freedom forward. Шармашлығының тақырыптарының барлығына да еркіндік берді. Өйткені еліміздің тәуелсіздік алғанымен бірге олардың шармашлығында да еркіндік, тәуелсіздік бойырды.
Currently, the younger generation has their own uniqueness in sculpture. The sculptors of the independent country are brave and have an ability to create a new style, and that is why we can feel these innovations. Baghdad's inner spirit is full of innovation. As his compositions take shape, they are very different, and they show his inner spirit. This work is titled, What About Me? Here it is described a woman and a cat and their relationship. This work was made from bronze. Nowadays people are not able to communicate with each other, as they can argue, and the woman has a gentle character. So I decided to put them into a chair, but they did not speak to each other. The composition was made in an advanced guard style. I really like this genre. I am thinking about creating new compositions in this genre. In order to change the shape, we can call it a modernism direction. And the first time Vladimir Tatlin made this Western European art form in the monumental art, he took a unique approach to sculpture. And we do not pay attention to the meaning of the composition of Marcel Duchamp, who reached the advanced guard and has his own theory. We also show shapes and colors and thoughts in our composition, which he thinks to show the exact opinions. The young sculptor Baghdad Sarsenbiev is based on Marcel's creation, and you can notice it from his compositions. One of Baghdad Sarsenbiev's sculptures is called Kokpar. This composition describes a Kazakh national game. The sculptor took the national themes and sculpted them in the advanced guard shape. These two things show the uniqueness of the composition. Here we can see the sculpture shapes around his composition, which shows an infinitely national spirit. Subsequently, you can see the sculpture from different sides. This composition is made in the advanced guard genre. Currently, I work in a girl's image sculpture where I would like to show the same place reduced and another part of the composition adding more materials. Each artist should have their own unique attributes, and I would like to sculpt the image of the Kazakh woman and describe her face. During the process of making a sculpture, it is convenient to use a rotating machine. The sculptor could see through the rotating machine his future compositions, and it requires the use of plasticine in one color. The colorful composition will attract the eye and it will be an obstacle to see the composition, and the sculpture will also in turn lose its shape. First of all, we need a result in our work. Before creating a sculpture, we work with plasticine. That is why we add our opinions and we increase our work. 
When you start your composition, you need plasticine and you need to sharpen your stick. And we put the carcass inside. Typically, before showing the composition to people, we make a shape and after the shape, we put it in bronze. This work requires a step-by-step -step process. The composition which I am making now should be transferred in bronze. After I finish it, I will show it to the people. This composition of Baghdad is called a lifeboat. We can see from the composition a relationship between grandchild and grandfather. You will take an impression as an old man talking about life to his grandchild. The sculpture's composition such as a lifeboat, Baldaurin, and Kokpar are all shown through the art travel exhibition in Kazakhstan. Мен көрмеге қойылған алғашқы жұмыстарымның бірі бұл көкжек деп аталады. Және бұны кеңістікте жүрген даладағы сурларға қарап One of my first works which was at the exhibition is called Horizon. I decided to make this composition when I saw on the hills a marmot. This sculpture was made from aluminum on the mountain stone. I would like to show through the marmot the human's image. Here there are three marmots which take different directions. The number three is a very good number for Kazakh people. That is why I make my composition as three of them looking at different sides. A human lives and trusts God. And in this trust, I saw the image of marmots. Subsequently, I would like to show through this composition the meaning of my inner thoughts. The composition's shape silhouette doesn't have sincerity as it was decided to make it in an ordinary way. When you look at it, you can see dynamics. In this art form, it is very important to show dynamics. And the sculptor could choose the material for his work to show the dynamics in this composition. And bronze is also a good enough material for showing dynamics. Baghdad Sarsinbiev can achieve all of his purposes by using bronze. If we have a look at his latest compositions, he makes sculptures using animal images. Subsequently, he works and makes compositions in the animalism genre. The uniqueness of this theme is that he refers to mythology. From this point of view, Baghdad Sarsinbiev uses the advanced guard in his creations. Typically, you can notice from each of his compositions the thoughts and the mysteries of life. And his compositions in the shape of silhouettes have sincerity, and they are described in a general way. It is the signature of the young sculptor Baghdad Sarsenbiev, who is researching his way. Every artist would like to leave their own unique thoughts in every composition. For example, every human holds their own direction on work in that way. If I will talk about myself, I would like to keep the advanced guard genre in the future and I would like to make compositions in this style more interesting. And I am making such compositions already.